Okay, welcome back to the Upload TV. Thanks for joining us this week. As ever, Joey the Tweet is holding that camera high. Myself, the average golfer, and we're at uh, a very sunny Abu Dhabi Golf Club. Just before we switch the camera on, Atty wiped a uh, bead of sweat from my brow. That's how hot it is today. We're sort of uh, still only mid-morning. That must be getting on for sort of 25 degrees. So uh, if you've missed us for the last few weeks, we've been uh, rained off for several weeks through June and July. So uh, glad to be back out on the course and couldn't have picked a better day, as you can see. So uh, Abu Dhabi Golf Club is a uh, real tremendous links course. It's been in fantastic condition. Uh, we've been capturing some video footage, some aerial bits and bobs, and you'll see them on uh, Tiuplo on uh, both YouTube and on the website itself. So uh, make sure you take a look at those because uh, you won't be disappointed. Abu Dhabi has looked superb today. But uh, this video feature is for Man vs Golf Hole, and uh, we've waited. We're on the uh, 16th, just glancing across as ever to the uh, tee box, par four, only 281 yards and stroke index 16. So uh, that certainly sounds very easy on paper in terms of a par four, but we drove past this one on the way out and it's a very quirky golf hole. Um, two short irons, I would think, or well, at least I hope. If you have a look behind me, as with any decent links track, I always like to see a railway track running along there somewhere. That makes its appearance down the left hand side, so we certainly don't want to go left. We've got some sunbathers just on the way to the beach, which is just over the brow. They're crossing, us, uh, crossing the pathway now. But um, first shot is really, I'm going to take a seven iron. Aim at the darker shades on the hill there. Those, uh, hopefully you can see those on the mound there on the right hand side. And if we can reach a sort of uh, decent part of the fairway there, then I would hope that uh, we've got a fairly short wedge into this green, which is also a very small target. Anyway, we better wait for these uh, couple of kids to make their way onto the beach. Certainly a good day to be doing that. And it's a good day to be playing golf. Apologies for the legs. They just had to come out. It was, uh, Right, so let's see if we can get one somewhere down there to start with. I've cut across that, tried to guide it a little bit and it needs to come down. I know whether you picked it up on the, um, I think it was a little bit too cautious and like I said just held off on that a little bit. It's gone right to where I was aiming and we're in the rough on the right hand side so already this uh, inconspicuous looking hole has already thrown me up a problem. So uh, hopefully we'll go and find that. It's literally just off the edge of the, uh, the second cut there so we shouldn't have a problem in finding it. We've got a difficult angle now to throw one over the top and to get on into that green, fingers crossed. Okay, so we're not, uh, I'm still on the fairway, but my ball's not there, unfortunately. Like I said, I poked out a little bit right, and we'll get there in a minute. But I just want to show you the green from here, which is, again, tight to this railway line. And you want to stay down this left-hand side, but that's the dare off the tee, if you like, and the one that I wasn't up to. So I pushed it right, again, avoiding that pull to the left-hand side of the railway track, but then that leaves you the more difficult shot into the green, because you're playing directly into the railway tracks now. So if you follow me up, Joe, Here we go. So I've got this at 140 into the wind and all I can see at the moment, if I can just untangle my microphone, is the top of the green, uh, the top of the flag. So again, not the nicest of shot with everything out of bounds on that left hand side. Let's see how we fare. Stay there, stay there. I'll just kick. Once again, just leaked it slightly right, afraid of that railway line. But with a bit of luck, that could have helped me because it might just bounce off that camber on the right-hand side and make its way to the green, but it's not too far off. So let's get up near the green side and see if we can make that par. Right, so come on, Joe, up onto this. I love this green. I really like this golf hole, to be honest with you. Like I said, at 281 yards, it's one of the most interesting par fours at under 300, uh, under 300 yards that I've played. Again, just take a look at the quality of the green. Plenty of humps, bumps and swales as ever and uh, it's a very narrow target to hit as well. So uh, certainly stroke index, I think it was 16 now. It's uh, certainly tough to play, but um, I was at this right hand side and I was hoping to see a ball on the green that had bounced off the camber. Um, but unfortunately not. Here we go, Joe. Right, 
Well, like I said, it wasn't the greatest of shots, so it probably got where it deserved. But with a bit more luck and maybe a couple of yards further left, it would have just bounced down and made its way onto the green. But uh, like I said, it was a weak shot. And again, I think the weakness came from the fear of pulling anything too far left. So it was a bit, bit under hit, but uh, still, let's see if we can get something. So this is all downhill once it gets to the uh, green. So again, this shouldn't need a great deal. Oh, stay there ball, stay there. Well, the pace wasn't too bad, but the line wasn't good because we got a nasty kick. First bounce was left and took it away from the hole. The pace looks quite good uh, distance wise. Right. So as ever with uh, our man versus golf hole, our one put shootout comes into play again. And uh, I don't think I've ever hold one of them, Joe, have I? Uh, Thanks for that. Not yet. Not yet, that's it, that's a more that's a more positive. Yeah. It's probably the most difficult put, left to right. And quite a bit of swing on that I would say. So you never know to keep those fingers crossed. It's coming round, but not that much. So it didn't swing anywhere as near as I thought. It's a, uh, a well, a par, a, a bogey rather. So uh, stroke index 16, 281 yards. Still too good for uh, the average golfer. And unfortunately, I make a loss.